Hello, so today I want to talk about negotiating. I think as women we're better negotiators. And men might not agree to that, but the reason why I say this is, let's use the example as kids, right? We have that mother instinct. So if you have two or three kids, however many kids you have, or you have one and they have their friends are over, if they start fighting, you are gonna figure out the solution that all the kids will be happy. Something that works for all of them. Same thing with negotiating, right? You know your why, you know what you want out of the deal. You need to find out the, the other person's why. So let's talk about negotiating for to purchase a property. So if the seller, find out why the seller's trying to sell the property. Maybe it's just, they're just tired of being a landlord. They don't want to deal with tenants. They don't, they don't want to do any of that. So if they just want out, they like the money coming in monthly and that's why they stuck with it so long. Maybe the best option for them is to owner finance, right? They're still getting money coming in every month and there's ways of doing it that they won't have to uh, pay the capital gains. Um, it's just being a little bit creative, thinking outside the box, but there is ways of doing it. If they get the lump sum and they're not gonna invest it in anything else, then they will have to pay the capital gains. So figure it out. Look, if you get cash on this, this is how much you're gonna pay with capital gains. Of course, always send them to their accountant because unless you're an accountant, then you won't know the exact, but you can kind of get an idea, um, find out through Google how much you pay in capital gains and you'll be able to see. According, and, and print it out. According to this here, it says you'll be paying this amount in capital gains. So if you make this amount less the percentage, you'll be netting this. Now, if we do it my way, throughout the year or throughout however long they're gonna, you want them to finance you for, then this is how much you make. Look how much of a profit you would make. So obviously they stayed on it that long because they like the passive income coming in. You're still giving them income coming in. It's a win-win for everybody. Don't be afraid to say, look, I can't do it. The numbers don't work for me and that I'm an investor, and even though it's a great investment, it's a great property, it's just the numbers don't work, you know, for it, even though I love it, but um, key thing is don't get emotionally attached with the property. You can take it or leave it. If the numbers don't work, then walk away. There is a deal as long as the negotiating is open. If the, there is no negotiating, then just walk away. It just does not work for your numbers. Another one will. So I hope that was able to help you. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please put it on the post below. Except